21-year-old Anastasia, Anna, Steele is an English literature major at the Washington State University, S. Branch Campus in Vancouver, Washington. Her best friend, Catherine, Kate, Kavanagh, writes for the college newspaper. Due to an illness, Kate is unable to interview Christian Gray, a successful and wealthy Seattle entrepreneur. She asks Anna to take her place. Anna finds the 27-year-old Christian both attractive and intimidating. She stumbles through the interview and believes it went poorly. Anna, not expecting to meet Christian again, is surprised when he appears at the hardware store where she works and purchases various items. When Anna mentions that Kate would like a photo for her article, Christian offers to arrange a photo session. The next day Anna, along with Kate and their photographer friend, Jose Rodriguez, arrive at Christian's hotel for the photo shoot. After, Christian asks Anna out for coffee. When he asks if she is dating someone, Anna replies that she is not seeing anyone. During the conversation, Christian claims he is not romantic, then abruptly ends the date, leaving Anna to believe she is not attractive enough for him. Later, Christian sends Anna a first edition copy of Tess of the D'Urbervilles. Later that night, Anna goes out with her friends and ends up drunk dialing Christian, who says he is coming to pick her up. When Anna goes outside for some fresh air, Jose attempts to kiss her, but he is abruptly stopped by Christian's arrival. Anna leaves with Christian, but not before she discovers that Kate has been flirting with Christian's brother, Elliot. Anna awakens to find herself in Christian's hotel room. He assures her nothing happened, but scolds her for her careless behavior. Christian says he would like to have a sexual relationship with her but Anna must first fill out some paperwork. He later goes back on this statement to make out with her in the elevator. Christian flies Anna to Seattle in his helicopter. At his penthouse, Christian insists that she sign a non-disclosure agreement, NDA, regarding their time together, which Anna agrees to sign. He also mentions other paperwork, but first takes her to his playroom filled with BDSM objects and gear. Christian informs her that the second contract will be about dominance and submission, and there will be no romantic relationship, only a sexual one. The contract even forbids Anna from touching Christian or making eye contact with him. At this point, Christian realizes that Anna is a virgin. Not wanting her first sexual experience to be a BDSM experience. He has conventional sex with her and sleeps in her bed. The following morning, Christian's adoptive mother, Grace, unexpectedly arrives. She is surprised to meet Anna. Having never seen her son with a woman, Christian later reveals to Anna that he lost his virginity at age 15 to one of his mother's friends. Elena Lincoln, and that his previous dominant, submissive relationships failed due to incompatibility. Christian also reveals that in his first dominant, submissive relationship, he was the submissive. Christian and Anna plan to meet again, and he takes Anna home, where she discovers several job offers. Over the next few days, Anna receives several packages from Christian. This includes a laptop to replace her broken one and research the BDSM lifestyle in consideration of the contract. Anna and Christian discuss the contract. Anna becomes overwhelmed by the potential BDSM arrangement and having a non-romantic sexual relationship. Anna leaves and does not see Christian again until her college graduation, where he is the keynote speaker. During this time, Anna agrees to sign the dominant, submissive contract. She and Christian meet to formally discuss the contract and go over Anna's hard and soft limits. Christian spanks Anna for the first time. 
and the experience leaves her both enticed and slightly confused. This confusion is exacerbated by Christian's lavish gifts and the fact that he brings her to meet his family. The two continue with the arrangement without Anna having yet signed the contract. After landing a job with Seattle Independent Publishing. Sip. Anna further bristles under the NDA's restrictions and her complex relationship with Christian. The tension between Anna and Christian eventually comes to a head after Anna asks Christian to punish her in order to show her how extreme a BDSM relationship with him could be. Christian fulfills Anna's request, beating her with a belt. Anna realizes they're incompatible. Devastated. She breaks up with Christian.